Hi, I'm Margaret and welcome to Rear Facing Toddlers. I am very excited to show you a little preview of this brand new car seat from Axkid. This is called The One. I first saw this car seat at a trade show nearly a year ago, but it wasn't until today that I've actually got my own one out of the box to do a little video and to show you what this car seat is like and what it can do. now isofix seats have all had an 18 kilo limit and that's because isofix points in cars are approved up to a total weight of 33 kilos and that's the total weight of the child and the seat and because the seats mostly weigh 15 kilos the child can't weigh more than 18 and up until now that has always been the isofix limit with maybe one or two exceptions but this car seat only weighs 10 kilos and that means you deduct that 10 from 33 the child can now weigh 23 now that has been done before, but previously that car seat that went up to 23 had a 105 centimetre limit. So it still, the, the child was never going to get to 23 kilos because at 105 most children roughly weigh about 18. But this one has actually been approved for children up to 125 centimetres. And that's what makes this car seat unique. It's the first Isofix seat that will be suitable for a child up to six years old, maybe even seven, rather than just four. The AxeKid 1 is suitable for children from 60 centimetres up to 125. 60 centimetres is roughly six months. And between 60 and 100 centimetres, which is more or less three and a half years, they use this insert. I don't know if you can see, but there's actually an insert here that's removable. So once the child reaches 100 centimetres, you take that insert out, the headrest can obviously go up, and then you can use it until the child is 125 centimetres. Now, this is just the AxeKid 1. There will also be a 1 Plus. And the one plus comes with an additional newborn insert and that makes the seat suitable from 40 centimeters which is from birth now i don't know if you've ever picked up an isofix car seat before but they are very heavy this one on the other hand only 10 kilos weighs nothing and that's what makes it so special so i'm now going to take it out to the car install it and then talk you through its features i've now come out to the car to give you a quick demonstration of how the seat is installed you start by holding it at the back and grabbing the rebound bar and pushing it all the way forward and you then move the isofix bars into the point it points in the car click and the other one yeah they've both gone green now then you move the brace all the way back it ratchets back automatically and when it's gone as far as it will go you give this knob a little turn until it clicks and that tightens that bar and then drop the support leg down to the floor by pressing the grey release button here at the top, sliding the leg down and pushing it down until it clicks. Down here on the side of the seat, you've got indicators that show which position the seat should be in for which size child. One setting for newborn, another one for children from 60 to 100 centimetres, and then finally you remove the insert, slide the seat all the way back for more legroom for a bigger child and make them more upright, up to 125 centimetres or about six or seven years. To adjust the recline on this seat, there is a knob here that would be where, between where the child's legs are and you just turn that knob, it's now fully reclined, and to make it more upright you just twist that knob until the seat is at the desired position. The headrest and the harness height are linked, so to raise them up as the child gets bigger you just squeeze this lever here at the back and raise the headrest, it's a very smooth action and you just take it all the way up to where you need it to be. And to increase the child's leg room as they get bigger, you simply slide the seat back on its frame. There is a lever here on the back, you press that with your finger and then the seat just slides backwards and if the child then needs to go more upright, you twist that knob again and then the seat can go a bit further back if you want it to and it creates a huge amount of leg room so you can see how a five or six or even seven year old could easily fit here. Even with the seat installed with maximum legroom for an older child, there is still plenty of room for me in the front seat in this car, and I'm 1 metre 70 tall, which is 5 foot 7. The good thing about the sliding mechanism on this seat, which glides up and down the frame really, really easily, is that when you have the seat in the car installed for a bigger child with maximum legroom, but you may need to give a lift to a tall friend or colleague, then you can very easily just slide the, front, the seat forward a little bit when the child isn't with you and close this gap for a tall adult in the front. 
I'm now Boom. going to take my car for a drive round to a friend's house who's got two children. And they're going to test the seat out for me to see what they think. So here's the first of my two models. It's a bit noisy here with all these cars whizzing past. Um, he is nearly two years old. He's quite little for his age. I haven't measured him, but I'd say he's probably around 80 centimeters, maybe 85. And he looks very comfy, don't you? What do you think? Right, so let me step back a little bit just to show you the side angle. I just wanted to quickly show this. So that is the insert that you use for children who are between 60 and 100 centimeters in height which is what he is still using. When I put his sister in it in a minute, I'll be removing that insert. Ah. Uh. Right, and now it's big sister's turn. And for her, she's over a meter tall. So I'm now going to remove this insert, which is for smaller children. And without the insert, the seat is suitable for children from about three to seven years old. So now we're going to put you in, aren't we? Are you going to get in the car seat? Right, let me turn you around, put your feet in. Now I haven't actually adjusted the depth of the seat between her and her little brother so as you can see her legs are a little bit bent up and to change that I'm just going to alter the setting like this to give you a bit more leg room. Yeah, good. you can put your legs down, exactly right. So now we're going to do the straps on you. Can you lift up your bum so I can get, oh it's here already, don't worry, don't worry, it's done. Right now we're going to put your arms in, sit back for me, do up the buckle. You're good at this aren't you? Have you done this before? No, I don't think you have. You've sat in your own car seat before, haven't you? Yeah. Right, so put your arms down for me. Shall I get your hair out? Is your hair in the way? There you go. Yeah, that's that is better, isn't it? And here you are. Straps nice and tight. There you go. How's that? Good. Good. And here she is. And as you can see, her legs fit really nicely in that leg room gap when you extend it for an older child. So I have now got my daughter Epi in the car and Epi is going to ask you a few questions. Is that okay about the car seat? So there you go, Epi. Okay. What do you think of this car seat? Good. Yeah, you're comfortable? Yeah. yeah? Have you got some room, for, nice room for your legs? Yeah. yeah? You see out the window? Yeah. yeah. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, are we going to get it out now, Audra? So I'm going to loosen your strap a little bit. Just push the bottom ends down here, pull the straps, press the red button, and out you get. Say bye. Bye. Thank you. So I've just come to another friend's house now and her son is six years old and more or less exactly 125 centimeters, which is the limit of this seat. And I just wanted to show how well he still fits. And this is now the next morning and another friend has come for a visit with his little one-year-old girl who's going to try out the car seat for us. Aren't you? Yeah. See ya, baby. I like
your car seat more car seat, Margaret, because where I can put my feet down and not lie like this, like my head is now, and it's just lying like that where I can lie like this.